Let's continue Tears of the Kingdom if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying me playing through this so far. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is somewhere in the middle of a Twitch stream, so... The discussion at the moment, which will probably continue, is just, uh... Talking about Twitch in general. Um... And yeah, I guess the fact that you can't multi-stream if you're on Twitch, so... Can't simultaneously... Simultaneously stream to YouTube, and I guess just some of my thoughts around Twitch and discoverability. Um... Yeah, I mean, the problem Twitch is having right now is just, much like a lot of large companies, they just seem to have this idea, like, every year they need to make more money than the last year, or they're failing. It's this concept of infinite growth that everyone just keeps chasing. And so, I mean, a lot of the stuff Twitch is doing right now is just very short-term thinking and just trying to make more money pretty much because that's what the shareholders want and yeah that's why some of these uh less than ideal emails have been sent to uh to streamers in the last couple of weeks so it's mainly the higher ups i don't think it's the staff really it's they don't really get a say they just have to go along with whatever the higher ups say so anyway have I figured out good food recipes that give you the most for the ingredients? It's the same as Breath, Breath of the Wild, it's just... Uh... With the exception of a couple of the new ones, the ones involving... Tom there's, there was one for tomato that was actually good. Um, but the rest of them, it's pretty much... You're either doing four of one ingredient and a dragon horn so you get the 30 minute duration. Or you're doing a 3-2 combo. To get like a high level buff. Or just stacking five of the same. Um, but that being said, this recipe is not bad. Um, for a medium buff for two and a half minutes, it's pretty decent. And I, I bet if you do two crab and two fish, it'll probably just be longer. Yeah. But, I mean, in general, it's the most optimal cooking, to be honest, is going to be... Something like this, where it's just, you're just stacking what you want to do. It's boring, but that is more or less the optimal cooking. It's like, two on two, or like, three of one ingredient and then salt, or four, four one. Like, it's, it's just, these are, yeah, the most optimal, sadly. They should have made the recipes better, I don't know. The cooking system could have been good if they just made anything that's a unique recipe just give you a really good buff and be better than the sum of its parts, but it, it's just not. So, it's unfortunate. Um, the only purpose cooking has is just uh, the horse you can upgrade. And, uh, yeah, the way you do that is just by providing cooking recipes. I mean, meals, not recipes. Which, I don't really use the horse that much, so for me, cooking is still largely pointless. Yeah, it, it, is, a bit, it is a bit of a shame. You'll, you'll, you'll find some decent ones that are three ingredient recipes. But I think for the ones that last the longest, it's, it's the same as Breath of the Wild. It's four and a dragon horn, pretty much. And if it doesn't have a duration, it's... Either three and two, or just straight up five ingredients of the same type. Um, I think the only exception to that, I believe, is the recipes involving temporary hearts. I think those have been tweaked, because I noticed there's no durians in this game. And uh, radishes are a lot more rarer. So... I think that's the only changes they did to cooking was just straight up get rid of durians and uh, nerf radishes in the sense that they're just harder to come by. Yeah, I mean, just to go back to the conversation, I, I would, I would like. <sighs> Here's the problem. 
I think no matter what, there is no platform for streaming that is ideal, ultimately. Let's just... Let's just go with that as an outset. But, in terms of the size of streamer I am, which is a small streamer, and how I care about my content and how I want it to be, like, I don't want ads on, on my stuff. I don't want people to get blasted with stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't benefit me financially in the slightest, right? And it just alienates a potential new viewer. It just does. And so for me, YouTube, from a viewing perspective, I think is better for me. And the potential for growth. The problem is YouTube streaming is still in its infancy, and I, I don't think they're prioritizing it anymore. I think they're focusing on YouTube Shorts now more than live streaming. So, it's possible it may never catch up. Um... Yeah. But for me, uh, ideally, I think live content should not have ads, because it defeats the purpose of it being live. The point of live is you're in the moment, you're experiencing something in the moment. By doing something to take a take away that person from the moment, it doesn't matter how good you say your algorithm is to figure out when there's a quiet spot. You can't, you can't predict spontaneity. You can't predict that something that happens in an instant will not be missed. And that's the problem that Twitch has right now, because they put all their eggs in the streaming basket, and the only way they can make money is through ads. That's the problem. Whereas in YouTube, they don't have that problem because they have VODs. They have off-stream off content. So that's where all the ads are, and that's fine, because the ad will play, and then it'll go back to where you were. You don't miss anything. Nothing wrong with that. And also, you know, once a live stream is done on Twitch, that's it. People don't real. People go watch VODs, but that's pretty much the extent of it. That's it. Whereas in on YouTube, that video will just be there, and it'll just if you reach a point where you're a YouTube partner, you can do all that advertising revenue thing, and it'll just be something that you know can people can still watch, and it can still earn you money to some degree. So I think. When you look at it from a fundamental perspective, the fact that in order to be a successful Twitch streamer, you need to do stuff outside of Twitch just shows there's a problem. If Twitch was the most ideal platform, you wouldn't need to do anything outside of Twitch, really, to survive. But that's not the case. Like, you can't just do Twitch. I don't think anyone just does Twitch. I, I'm sure there are some, but... As a majority, I think most people have to do YouTube, and they have to do something else alongside of it. Um, yeah. So, I mean, for me as a small streamer, it's... I would like YouTube to work out. It's just, I... Given what I've seen so far, I don't think it will. And that's purely because it's just behind in the chat experience, and there's a bit of jank to it. Um, but I think overall it is the better viewing experience, in my opinion, just because you don't have to, you don't have to deal with ads, man. That's, that's just the plain and simple. Where is this Korok? You sometimes watch VODs, but it's nothing like talking to the streamer. That's what Twitch is for you. For in the moment and interaction with the streamer. Exactly. I think YouTube just needs to ex improve that experience because it's not the best. I mean, take this for instance. When you're streaming on YouTube as a streamer, there's two chats. There's top comments and there's actual live chat. It defaults to top comments. So the first couple of times I went live on YouTube, I, I didn't realize that there were people typing in the live chat. It would only just bring up a select few messages like sometimes the top chat is the live chat it matches but then other times it's not and you miss out on messages and it's just like why did they do that
And you know, the chat is very bland as well, so... It's not quite the same as Twitch. Is that it for here? I'm a bit tired, so the focus levels are like almost gone. No, well, what? Did it... It's probably above here on a rock or something. I'll find it. There it is. How did I not get this one? I personally think that uh, Twitch messed up a couple, maybe more than a couple years ago. Whenever uh, they had this thing going where they had a feed, and the feed would show you clips from streams, and streamers would be able to, you know, post updates to their to their followers, and then they just decided to abandon that. They had something going that could have rivaled TikTok, it's just... They just chose to abandon it. And this was before TikTok kind of completely exploded. Am I going for 100%? Ah, to be decided. It depends how I'm feeling. I haven't really started going to the effort of going around the map like I did in Breath of the Wild to find all the Koroks. At the very least, the shrines will be done and potentially the quests. I'm not sure about the Koroks. Especially if it does that thing it did last time, which I'm pretty sure it will. Um, where at a certain point, he's just like, okay, find the rest of them. And then there's no reward. I'm, I'm pretty positive it's, it's going to do it again. Because it's already done it with the, the frog gems. And unless they've changed the reward. Yeah, I don't know if I want to find... I don't know if I want to find them, because especially since there's probably more than a 900 of them this time. There's probably more of them this time around. The Korok Mask, me finding the Korok Mask has definitely swayed me a bit more. It, like, initially I was thinking no, but now I'm a bit more on the fence about it. Because at least I have the Korok Mask. If they didn't bring this into this game, it, it would have been a no. I would have just stopped at a certain point. I think that's that was kind of the thing I was worried about. Um, after doing everything I did in Breath of the Wild, I figured that at some point in this game I would start feeling a burnout almost. And that's not to say I'm not liking the game. The game is fantastic. But once all the story content is said and done and I'm just kind of going around the map looking for Koroks, that's where I think the burnout's going to be real. It's just like, I'm not sure if I'll be able to go through with it. Given I, I found all 900 in Breath of the Wild and all the stuff I had to go through to finish that game. I might look up the reward eventually. And use that as a way to decide. For now, I'll just pretend like I'm going to. this one. Ah, oh, right. Yep. Uh, 
I like these Korok ones. It's funny because you're just undoing what you did in Breath of the Wild, so I think that's funny. But this one might be a bit of a pain if I can't walk it up. Octo Balloons, I think it's too heavy. It'll get it to a certain height, but probably not go any higher. Unless a rock falls from the sky and I can use that. That's why that construction thing is there. Oh. Wow, I'm an idiot. I thought it was up there. Okay. I'm an idiot. It's fine. I was about to go down this extreme rabbit hole. <laughs> you would never do that stuff yourself. You stopped enjoying the game and then there's just a few grinds left. I'm definitely tired. No, he's like, yeah. I'm I'm definitely definitely tired. You can you can probably hear it in my voice a little. It's the president. vacation. The funny thing is I could take one. This is COVID kind of messed up those plans a little. Oh, crap. Where would I go on vacation? Probably Japan. I've always wanted to go there. Ah! Mm -hmm. Oh, the president's standing! Ah. How long of a flight would that be? Uh, not too long. But it's one of the closer places I can go to. Ah. Basically, if I go to America, that's like 14 to 16 hours. If I go to Europe, it's 14 to 16 hours. <laughs> so. <laughs> Japan is, is not too far. Hang on. I'll look it up. I want to Japan. Flight time. Yeah, it's ten hours, so it's. I say it's it's closer. It's still oh, quite a while, but. Yeah, I don't know. Some of these uh, spots for these signs they make no sense to me, but. It's either a case of he wants to do something, or just... This is, uh, a hazing, you know, they... They're making the newbie do a bunch of just ridiculous tasks. Stuff that should be near impossible. Yeah, that would be my primary choice. Second choice would probably be somewhere where there's more of a semblance of winter, I guess. Like a true winter. Oh. 
You thinking about going in there alone? Sure. You'll be hard to spot in the rain, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. Hmm? Oh, hey, I thought I recognized you from somewhere. Aren't you that missing swordsman? You all, anyone at Lookout Landing talked about when I was there. Ah, but you seem good. Happy to see it. Anyway, this is the Monster Control Crew. We help keep the peace in Hyrule by taking out as many monsters as we can. I'm Flaxel, Captain of Squad 3. It's real nice to meet you. We were just on our way to rough up those monsters over there. But the bridge on the ship collapsed, so we don't have a way to board it. We can give those monsters a real whooping if we can just get that bridge fixed. Can't I just take them out myself first? It seems like I could murder everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today is not my day. Uh? Hey, did you just... You did it! You fixed the bridge for us. Incredible. I can't thank you enough. I guess the rest is up to us now. Okay, you lot, are you ready? Uh, on our honor, as members of the Monster Control Crew, we will take down every last one of those fiends. Victory will be ours! Yay! Yeah, we don't need... <laughs> that doesn't get old. No, what are you doing? Okay, hold on, hold on, sir. Guys, please. Oh no, it's gonna survive. Hang on. What? No, hey. Into, into the water. There we go. It's the majority of it, though. <laughs> ah, man. Breath of the Wild strats, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is what I had to do in Trial of the Sword. Because I was doing it on three hearts. Oh, nice. That's a good photo. Guys, please. I know you want to help. But it's not helping as much as you would think. Ooh, that's gonna give me... Is that a... Yeah, that's a good weapon. <laughs> I mean, I could waste a bunch of stuff. We can just do that. We employ the galaxy brain.
Can I oh, it's dead. Wow, oh, they actually won. Good, good job, guys. Good work, Sidon. We won. First, we have to treat the wounded. Then, as soon as everyone's okay, we'll get together and plan our next move. As for you, Link, you deserve thanks. Can I talk to you for a minute? You really surprised me. Taking care of the bridge is one thing, but your power on the battlefield is awe-inspiring. Oh, hey, I still got to give you your reward. <sighs> we have to train. We have to get stronger. We have to get ready for what's next. The plan is to head northwest to the South Abantha snowfield in Hebra. If we happen to cross paths in the future, I hope you'll consider fighting alongside us again. <laughs> May the goddess Hylia keep you safe, brave warrior. <laughs> I mean, playing Breath of the Wild before this did help. As I only had three hearts and one stamina wheel. Everything feels like a luxury right now. Hmm. Well, I'll go down this beach and see if there's anything there. I need more Octorok tentacles, so... Oh wait, I don't even need to use arrows anymore, like... This is how we do this. <laughs> Throwing stuff, uh, instead of shooting arrows has grown on me quite a bit. I wasn't doing it very much at the start, but it has definitely grown on me a lot. Kinda good that they show where you were on the map so you can explore the places you definitely weren't at. Yeah. That's the other thing, I'm glad they have that system because that was uh... That was DLC in Breath of the Wild and without it there's just no way I would have done the Korok thing. Oh wow, I'm almost out of wheels. <laughs> what? Why? Okay. It's fine, I guess. No, I love it, because at the end, especially if you don't do any fast travel, it's just one path. I mean, I guess I can keep this and just ride around the beach for a bit. Of all the vehicles, this is the one that I'm the most proud of. 
So it's because it's surprisingly easy to drive it. Oh, that's weird. That's a weird one. I've seen that one before. I wonder if there's more of those kind. Looks like there's another one here. That's enough, let's see. There we go. That one was easy. Wait, you rewatch your adventures and you went to the final boss fight after exploring six mini dungeons. You went into Hyrule Castle, you were like, you're gonna explore the dungeons of the castle with four hearts. Yeah, and it's great that it allows you to do that, honestly. I suppose the unintended side effect is just, in order to allow that, I just don't think this style of Zelda will ever truly see the return of a traditional dungeon. Because to see the return of a traditional dungeon, you have to have some sort of progression gate. Where an item blocks your progress, pretty much. And you can't do that sort of stuff. So I think they've done the best they can, given that it still has to remain open enough that you can do whatever you want, and in what order. I mean, outside of the starting area. One thing I have been doing, um, a little bit, just as I've been scripting some YouTube content, um... I've been watching speedruns of Breath of the Wild, because I, I never really looked at that stuff, and some are... The things they resort to is just kind of insane. How they would have figured some of that stuff out is just beyond me, but... The stuff that doesn't resort to glitches and things. Scripted YouTube content. Yeah, I mean, more for the other channel I made. It's just me talking over videos, which I've been wanting to do for a while, but it's just... It's one of those things that's just slowly I'm working through it. Not enough time in the day. And, of course, just having to juggle full-time work. It's just... I put in what I can. Oh, crap. My car's gone. I walk too far away from it. I think it despawns way too easily. Yeah, it's gone. Oh well. make a decent car with one small wheel and it'll stay upright. Yeah. Probably. I suppose I could try it. Let's see. A unicycle? Eh, I imagine so. I mean, these are pretty stable on their own.
So how would this work? Because you have to hit it. Then you just have to... Okay. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Do you know what? It's actually a little bit harder to steer than the four-wheel version. It seems to do that quite a bit. But maybe my version's not optimal. Keep swaying very easily. Hi. <laughs> I'm saved. Good thing you arrived when you did. I may have bitten off more than I could chew here. Maybe this home-cooked meal will convey my gratitude. It's not much. Hope you can enjoy it. Oh. Deep fried... Did he just give me some deep fried chicken? Oh. Did I really just get deep fried chicken? I mean, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that one seems to be a bit harder to steer. They've already despawned it. I'm gonna get some meat. Too good. I mean, there's a bit of sand on that, but it's still good. 30 second roll. I got a curiosity here. What's the reason I did this? I'm going to be disappointed if it's not what I think it is. Just saying. But would this make hot and spicy? Spicy fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, it did. 
Original recipe or, or spicy? Which would you take? Yeah, I'm leaning to the spicy. It doesn't have a different picture. Would have been nice if it looked a little different. Shame the game doesn't have potatoes. Be like a three piece meal and then a side of fries. Okay, I'm just gonna catch a ride, I think. There's probably something on the... Going up! Oh shit, there's a... Uh... There's a Gliok there. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm in the mood for fighting that thing yet. If Donkey Kong did not take, like, the last shred of focus I had, I'd fight it now. But, right now. Um, I'm almost a husk in terms of focus. see something on it already. <laughs> it still doesn't get old. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's still... Still, this. There's a lot in this area that I haven't looked at. On the topic of open world games, I was watching the. Uh... It's not a reveal, but the big demonstration of Starfield. And you know, I say this because it's a Bethesda game, and it's just one of those things where. If you're too positive about it, people will be like, why are you being so positive about it? And if you're too negative about it, people will be like, why are you so negative about it? So I'll just say this, is that if that game releases in a state that's playable, and it's going to be buggy, let's face it, it's Bethesda. But if it leans more towards, say, New Vegas buggy, instead of Fallout 76 buggy, I think it'll be fun. I'm not going to purchase that game or pre-order it until, say, the first week of release is over. 
But some of the stuff they were showing is, is genuinely cool, and... I mean, if it's as fleshed out as they try to make it seem like it is, then that game is, is easily like a 200 hour game. I want, I want it to be, <laughs> it's kind of, I want it to be something that is playable, but I don't want it to be completely bug free because I find some of the janky stuff that happens in Bethesda games hilarious. But I don't want it to be completely broken. I probably shouldn't fly, especially if I'm looking for Korok, I think I'll try and stick to the ground primarily. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Oh. I hit a tree. I already see it. There's a Korok over there. to reach my friend. Yeah. Okay, that's that's straightforward. I thought for a sec it was near the Gliok. Face the right way. And with any luck, I'll be able to fly over this without messing this up too much. Nice, I got the balance right. Wow, look at that. What a... Okay, aside from the landing. <laughs> That's a pretty stable flight, aside from the landing. There have been a little bit of uh, permanent damage there. Ha ha, can't reach me. Silly Lazalfus. It's kind of fortunate timing. I didn't have a picture of that, really. Mm-mm-mm, gonna... Insert Star Fox theme here.
I feel like it should be extra sensitive to light. Before the music even started. See ya. And just imagine how much of a day ruiner that is. You're just out on the walk along your favorite beach and then some asshole just flashbangs you. Repeatedly. You don't even know who he was. Didn't see him coming. Is that a whole chicken? It's a rice. Does that mean I could fry a whole bird? I mean, I like roast chicken. I like all forms of chicken. Fire! Oh, I missed. So this is one where I feel like I get a bunch of horns and uh, energy for free. Oh, it's probably not enough energy to get up there. Wah, wah. Go. Uh oh. It still work. No, I did it. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> so one downside to this is just once you have this unstable position that you just can't fix it. I just want to... I'm being lazy, but I, I want to go up here. Oh, damn, they're all silver. Hey! Ah, uh, children. You blew it. Literally.
but I'm a bit disappointed. I was expecting a Korok at least. Okay, hang on. It looks like there's... What is this pointing to? This is definitely new. What? The... what? The entrance is probably behind me. No, what? Huh. There's a cave here, but no idea where the entrance is. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I've lost my vehicle, most likely. Hmm. Okay. Well, I found them. They're more like ruins. Uh, huh. It's definitely there, you can see it. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's because it's all slippery. This is a little annoying. Um, this doesn't reach the ceiling. Mm. 
no, there's no way that whole ceiling is something you can detonate. had the solution. It's not that, apparently. Alright. Laziness it is. That is a little weird. Okay, that does work. is frog. <laughs> Was this really just the what? Maybe it just wanted me to climb up. I don't know. Anyway. Princess Zelda has been seen riding a mountainous beast with brutal tusks. Subtropical region in the south. Yeah, okay. I mean, I still haven't seen that. Uh, what's the nearest out? I'm gonna climb this mountain. <laughs> Finger slipped. <laughs> I, I, I fat fingered the B button. I done that directly above me? No. Well, that is a sage thing. I know that much. To 
be honest, I'm in no rush to upgrade your Nobo. I think his problem is he just takes too long to swing and hit something. Everyone else is just so much better. He not only has a think about it, but he just has this insane wind-up that just takes forever. Credit. That's a cave I haven't done over there. Alright, well. You just use him to break rocks. Yeah, same, pretty much. Um, he is useful in the Gerudo area to weaken Gibdos, but other than that... Chulin number one. If I could, I would upgrade him four times. I saw a photo where there were a few fairies flying around here. I'm just curious if I, I have to release them here. Or if that's just the photo. I see the dragon in the background. But by the time I get there, uh... I was expecting something here. save before I do this. Alright, that was a waste. <laughs> I thought that photo was like a clue. Go put fairies in this and maybe it would do something, but nope. But it was five or six of them, so... Maybe it's still valid, just... I don't have enough. Yeah, I mean... I don't have any leads. I might go back there and just see what they have to say, just to get a reminder. Korok. Cleared out the space.
To be honest, I'm not that interested in fighting the Horoblins. So guess what I'm approach I'm guess what approach I'm taking. Guys, please guys, please, you you're getting in my way. This is a waste. All right, dickheads. How did I mi how? Oh my god! Stop, sir. Good, 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 good. There we go, thank you. I love how I said I don't feel like fighting them and now I'm doing just that. Yeah, no, I think I'll pass on that one. Gee, I wonder how that weapon's gonna go if I were to use it. Yeah, sure. sound less stressed. Yeah, funny that. It's amazing how much your mentality recovers when you're not stuck doing the same level for an hour. How do you zoom like this, that? Zoom like what? Like that? Uh, aiming the bow. I think it's just because it was a small space. Camera just did weird thing. Alright, let me remind myself what I need to be doing for this. 
No, it kind of did look like I was scoping and had some kind of zoom, but I think it's just the camera. Um, yeah. It's just a small space, so I guess I just tried to do the best it could. Alright, let's remind ourselves what this is. A beast that's rumored to be a mountain of a creature and has huge brutal tusks. We might have a real situation. Get the information. Rumored beast. Checking in on the stables. Weird. I mean, I haven't really looked along this area. Like, Kylie is kind of in an area I've been ignoring, so maybe let's just go from here. Hmm. But otherwise, yeah, not sure. They hinted it might be night creatures. Well, the only thing that fits that description loosely is like a style horse. If she's riding it. This is where the horses used to run, but I guess that's changed now. So it said horned creature, which I don't know. They are horned. Lionel is not exclusive to night time. Okay, hang on, I need more of these. I love how interact and grab are the same. Nice. Ah. We might be gone now. I should have checked with Beetle what he had. Because I need to keep acquiring a uh, certain frog. And he probably sells it. Okay, anyway, that's all good. This cave. I mean, around this courage shrine, maybe. I 
Oh, now that I'm here, I got to do something cool. Talk about easy rush rooms. an easy one. Yeah. It's so cool that you can just use it to pick stuff. Well, I mean, it's not night time now, so I guess if I want time to kill, I could fight the Gliok. I've never fought a fire one. Ooh, you know what? I, I bet. I bet. This is probably going to be the thing that I need. Above all else. Yeah. It makes sense. Oh man, I'm just remembering that stupid stick Korok on that bridge. Hey, that was a fun stream. Remember when I wasted it over an hour on this bridge looking for the one Korok? And then it ended up being this Korok that it doesn't really have that same style of Korok in the rest of the game ever. That was great. climbing. Yeah, you know what? Let's do one thing interesting today. Um, it, this looks absolutely atrocious. But it's the best defense I have. Well, this is going to be a... Wait, how many arrows do I have? Uh, uh, 28 is probably not enough. Hang on. Okay, uh... Yeah, 28 is probably not enough. I'm, I will do it. I will do it. Just... Let me go consult with Beetle first. 
Is there a way to craft arrows? Unfortunately, no. But they're kind of just... The way that I've found to get arrows... Oh, the fucking travel... Yeah, I have the travel medallion. You're right. I haven't used it because... It's just... State of mind. In Breath of the Wild, I did no fast travel. I never have ever used the travel medallion before. But I do have it. I do have it. Just, I've, I just haven't used it. And that would have been a good time to use it. Zelda side while observing castle via telescope reportedly spotted oh. Zelda. Wow, oh, that's just the cutscene. The other thing is, I guess I can upgrade it now, too. I should probably do that. I have the requirement to upgrade it. Brother was telling me there's a camp that you can do that the treasure chest gives you a hundred rupees. So pretty much every blood moon you should go there. Can't remember what camp he told me about, but drop a teleport spot there pretty much and every blood moon just go back, clear the camp, get a hundred rupees. Pretty smart. <laughs> I don't have the energy to yell. <laughs> but I am- I'm shrugging my head. Shrugging my shoulders, shaking my head. Shrugging my head? Yeah, I'm tired. I am shrugging my head. squish <laughs> yeah like Dana Carvey style joining the turtle club I have a photo of you right yeah I do okay this is going to be interesting because there's not really a whole lot to hide behind Two heads. 
Yeah, it has unbearable hate, so I can't get near it. Do we have hate resist? Oh no, it's hate. It's hate. It's hate. Okay. It's not. Okay, it's not flame guard. Then we do have a solution to that. Swap. Swap. Alright. We're good. Crap, too low. Shit, the head's recovered. Bones is honestly just, yeah. Farm them as much as you can. Damn it, children. Kind of expected that to happen. Um, is that real? Is there really a storm right now? I tried. Okay, there's no storm. We're fine. This is going to be interesting. How does I, I haven't done this before. Oh shit. This is like scorched earth. Okay, but it's the same conceptually the same. Oh my god. Okay, should be fine. Got him. Spell. The death. <laughs> the death was from the fall, not me. Alright, there we go. Gliok down. I doubt there's Koroks on this bridge. There might be one or two, but at either end. Oh, piss off. Can't just let me have that victory. Has to make a whole thing about it. I mean, usually it's a pretty good guess, to be honest. It's just... Wait, 
I see arrows. Let's just humor it. <laughs> this sucks because I can't climb. This is this is undercover. Come on. This is even with the slip resistance as well. I have a lot of random food. I need to get rid of it. Okay, it's about to stop raining. All right, we're fine. Did I just... I swear I saw a reflection. I wonder if this is the same one. Yeah, I mean, the arrows make sense. I wonder if, uh... They make reference to this thing. Oh look, they don't reference the best Korok in the game. What's what's that? They don't. Weird. Weird how they would choose not to reference the best Korok in Breath of the Wild. The one that was so well designed. And appeared multiple times throughout the playthrough. Just making sure. Um, I'm making reference to the worst Korok in Breath of the Wild, in my opinion. It is in the top 10. I, I believe it's like rank third, but I'll... <laughs> if you don't know about it, I'll, I'll give you a rundown. I spent an hour on this bridge looking for the damn Korok. Could not find it. And what it ended up being... This is- this is rough, by the way. But like... Yeah, so... In this exact spot here... Pretty much right here... There's a lone stick. Just a stick, a weapon, that you can pick up. If you pick it up, there's your Korok. If your weapon inventory is full and you try to pick it up, the Korok doesn't register. But because at no point is there another Korok like that one in the game anywhere, you're not actively looking for it. You're just like, oh, that's just a stick. I'm not going to grab a stick. Why would I grab a stick? And it's in such an out of view spot. Like you can't see it from here. You have to pretty much... R no, it's here. Yeah. You can't see it. So look at this. There's like, there's probably a specific camera angle where you can see the stick. But unless you knew it was there in the first place and were looking for it, like you would not come... You would not come across it. And even then when I was looking for it, I just could not find it. And then I looked it up and I just... I hated it. And it, it's pretty, uh... 
it's pretty up there, like... Common consensus that it's one of the worst Koroks in the game. Yeah, I mean... You will not... You will not have to do anything like that in Breath of the Wild. And that's the problem. If... If throughout the game we were getting things like, oh, there's like, sticks in random places that you have to pick up. And it set that precedence where, okay, sometimes there'll be a stick in a weird spot, you can pick it up, there's a Korok. It would have been fine. Still annoying, but at least there's a, there's a reference to it. But this was just straight up... Yeah. Like, just, it's the only Korok that does it. The number one for me was, was that Korok. That Korok was just hard to find. I didn't find it on my own. I had to look it up and... I just would not have found it on my own because I would not have thought that a tree branch was going to contain a Korok because there's no other one in the game that does that. From a cons consistency point of view, it was annoying. Um... Outside of that, there were other ones that were difficult. <sighs> There's one that required quite a bit of perfect stamina to get. Like, just making sure you get there in time. I went to the shrine instead of the tower, my bad. But that one was just frustrating because I, I just could not find it on my own, even with the Korok mask. And yeah, it's just... When you, know, when you find out that that is the only Korok in the game that is like that, yeah, it's, it's a little annoying. Alright, where's Ferocious? So I'm at Lake Hylia. He'll be Darius. Yeah, he's down there. Um, what do I have from Feroche? I have a claw. I need a fang. And then it's claw, so... I need to get Furish the Fang. On the topic of speedrunning earlier, there's a speedrunning trick that they do to collect Koroks, the ones um, that are, you know, the three apple trees that you have to match. So they stasis the apple, the single apple that needs to line up, and then they just chop down the tree, and then it registers as success. It's, it's a bug that they never patched out. And I saw that, and I was like, oh man. <laughs> All the, all the times I've had to pick the apples, they just do that. They stasis the single apple that they need to line up, and then it just, yep, just chop down the tree. It's not intended. Uh, I should probably get back to the face. Work smarter, not ha harder. It is. I just don't know how they figured that out. I just, I just don't know how you come across that stuff naturally in gameplay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I came across my, my fair share of stuff naturally, right? 
in terms of stuff that just was not working. It would have been the case if someone randomly did it, but then there's some of the other speedrunning strats that are just absolutely insane. I just don't, like, they would have had to have data mined or something. It's just such a specific interaction they have to do. No, it was a scale. Okay, I have to ride, I have to ride this dragon. All right, chat, prepare for some boring time. I'm going to ride for rush for like 10 minutes. So, how's, how's things? <laughs> Everyone good, I trust. Oh my god. I shut it in the it's way more particular than it used to be. As long as you shot it along the, the jawline, it was fine. This, it has to be dead on. And same with the claw. Before you could hit, like, the whole... The whole talon, pretty much, and it would be fine. To here, you have you have to hit the claw. I just find that it has to be way more precise than it used to be. <laughs> Speaking of benefits, did you know that you can benefit from when videos are uploaded to YouTube just by clicking that subscribe bell? It's true. It's a, it's a button and the bell. I fucked it up, but you know. If there's any time to sell out, it's at this point. <laughs> or I have to sit on a dragon for 10 minutes. I'll eat a whole roast chicken. I feel like I'm never gonna eat these these ones in particular, I'm just never gonna use. I'm sorry, like increasing my swim speed. That's just never gonna happen. <laughs> Hit that bell, like and subscribe. I just don't have the hype voice. Especially not now when I'm tired. I just, I can't, I can't bring myself to do it even ironically. No, I mean, I, I can get excited over things. It's just more just like the the constant um, putting on a show type thing, I guess. Some people put on a show. Some people, they're genuinely like that. They just have the personality. Do I have any plans this weekend? I'm just gonna rest and do nothing, honestly. Like, this week has been kicking my ass. Um, last weekend, I, I, I did hang out with my brother and niece, so... It was nice. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of a deadline this week, so I might have to do something on Saturday work-wise. See how it goes. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's like this is just one of those things that every now and then it's, it just can happen. Tell you what I do want to at least try to do is finish Donkey Kong Country 2. On a more serious note though, like, <laughs> I joke about the YouTube stuff. 
And over the course of the last year, I've, I've had to kind of get rid of that mentality where I don't ask for, like, the algorithm clicking, as I call it. But it has helped as of late. Um, I've noticed it. Just, yeah. Sometimes you do pay attention to those charts and there's a bit of an uptake, which is nice to see. So I do appreciate those that have been doing all that button clicking. It does help. More than money, to be honest. So this is what they do when they're in the underground, huh? It's just sad that... <laughs> to, to, I guess, get your content out nowadays, it's like you really, really have to play to the algorithm. It's, there's just no way about it. You just can't do things the way people used to do them and just get an audience naturally. It's just... It's too hard. You have to be like, click the button. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Hit the bell. Hey, I noticed that only 30% uh, of you are subscribed. Did you know that if you subscribe, you can get access to the following perks? <laughs> you hear it time and time again, but that's the reason why. I never quite understood that, oh, only 30% of you are subscribed thing. That's such a weird metric because if you were to get that number to 100%, then that would mean that your content isn't reaching new viewers. Like, you wouldn't want that number to be high enough. You would want it to be like, okay, yeah, you know. I think a better, a better number would be just how many new people visit as opposed to a percentage of new versus non-new. Because it just doesn't make any sense. Like, you would want your content to reach new people, so you wouldn't want that number to be 100%. Like, maybe a ratio of 60-30. Oh, sorry, 60-40. 60-30. I was trying to go with, you know, two-thirds and a third. That's probably a good ratio to have. But to chase the, like, 80% or 90% or even 100%, I don't know, man. That just means that your content's not reaching more people. Yeah, I like the smaller channels as well, just because it's not just a matter of easy to interact, it's more just the chats don't go full Twitch hive mind. There are some larger channels I follow that they, they're they nice and they don't reach that hive mind point. Um, yeah, I mean, there's quite a few larger creators that try to keep the same vibe as they did when they were smaller and try to respond to things as best as they can. Where are we? Is th this is gonna have, have uh, like... Okay, so almost at the Gerudo Desert, it's probably going to pop out. I think it's already starting to go up. <laughs> or maybe I was imagining it. <laughs> it may have gone slightly up. What's happening? That was really hard to step up on. I mean, I'm not gonna like name names and read out names, but um, there's definitely some of the some larger channels I've been to. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's I call it the hive mind mentality. It's just 
It gets to the point where the streamer doesn't even engage with their chat that much. It's kind of like they let them do their thing. And every now and then they might interject. I just, I, I never want it to get to that point. I would rather lose viewers, you know, that are kind of, they just go to Twitch to do that. I'd rather like quality over quantity, I guess is what I'm saying. I'd rather have like a small amount of people that at the very least, you know, I don't want to put a number on it, but like a good amount of the time we can talk about stuff and it doesn't devolve into just, you know, hive mind stuff. It's fine that it goes to hive mind stuff. Every now and then, like it's Twitch, right? Hmm. I'm wondering if I should hit it now. <laughs> Are you quality? Well, we're having a conversation, so yeah. It's like, the definition I give is able to have a conversation isn't just like a look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Hey, streamer, streamer, look at me. Upvote my comment. Oh, wait, this isn't Reddit. Like, just that sort of energy. Doesn't say hi when they arrive, just kinda. Says something and then just leaves. <laughs> oh, streamer isn't paying attention to me. Okay. You're gonna use that one. Oh, vote my comment streamer. Well, that's what it feels like sometimes. Sometimes I've had people's first message be just like, they're trying too hard to make a joke and it's it's just Reddit energy, man. It's just like, they want their comment to be like, upvoted to the top. It's, it's just that kind of energy versus someone that Pops in, says hi, and you know, it's okay to crack those kind of jokes, right? But as long as that's not like your interaction 99% of the time or night, you know what I mean? That's just. But that, that's just, that's just me. That's just me. What is that over there? Everyone, everyone's different, but. For me, I, I kind of just prefer the thing where, I don't know, get to talk for a bit and then build a rapport instead of the default position just being tell joke to streamer, make snarky remark about what streamer's doing. And can you see if people are here if they don't comment? Uh, uh, to some degree. The dragon is shiny, but I kind of don't want to hit it on the ground. Because it's just going to go flying. I can hit it now. It's just, I'm worried that it's going to land in corruption. So, sorry if this is a little boring. It should surface soon, I would hope. But yeah, I mean, I don't want, I'm not trying to call anyone out. And I, I think in general, everyone here is, is legit. Um, I'm pretty fortunate in that way. Again, I'm a smaller streamer, so, you know, audience isn't that massive. But the audience I do have is consistent and more importantly, not assholes. And yeah, people that, the people I'm, the, the kind of people I'm describing, they tend to leave pretty quickly anyway. They get bored. 
Because <laughs> I just don't engage with it. Like, I'll either just straight up ignore it or I'm like, that's nice. I mean, it's kind of cool to see the dragon up close like this. So you wouldn't be able to do this in Breath of the Wild. Wait, look at that detail. I mean, for a Switch game, man, this looks pretty good. It shows that you can make a nice looking game on a Switch. Take notes, Pokemon Company. I mean, I'm sure I could probably tank the damage. No, no doubt. You're, you're probably right. I'm surprised that there's... That's the other thing. There's no... Tre how, how is there no treasure here? I haven't found any treasure maps that are in this, this area. I think if it goes in that direction, I'll, I'll hit it because that doesn't have too much it's just this is i mean let's try and yeah. try and survey the land i guess yeah. i just I've seen this situation so many times, chat. It's like, I could look at this and be like, yes, this is a perfectly safe area to hit it in the mouth, and it probably won't go flying. But you know what's going to happen, right? Like, it's just the worst case scenario is going to happen because it just does. It'll glow, it'll go into the gloom, it'll go into like some abyss, and I'll never see it again. Okay, to be f this is looks like less of an abyss. Surely nothing bad will happen on the ground. Yeah, you say that. Best meme of uh, of this channel in 2020. I was playing Fall Guys and this one person showed up in chat and they just typed the word PS4 and then left. So I think for most of 2020, people were saying hello with PS4. That's why it's a <laughs> if you notice the emote, that's where it comes. Oh my god, that looks ugly. What is that? That was that. Is that a seam or is that just the lighting being weird? Yeah, that that old gem. Lighting being weird. I'm trying to hold on. Okay, there we go. But it was climbing instead. Oh, you asshole. Okay. This is a close second. See what I mean? Worst case scenario. I have made a discovery.
shock resistance? No, I don't have anything shock resist. Ah, oh, I guess if I wear the Gerudo set, it gives me shock resistance, but it's not that big of a shock. I got health, that's fine. Yes, nothing can- nothing bad can happen with lightning. As my Breath of the Wild playthrough proved, nothing bad ever happens with lightning. Especially when you're not wearing any weapons or clothing. Sir. Okay. Where is here? It's really, it really doesn't like me. Okay, so see that? In Breath of the Wild, that would be the stupid Korok that I didn't find on the bridge. Except it would probably be not in plain sight like that. Nice thumbnail. Okay, it should be. Oh, oh, don't do this to me. Okay, um. This is what's annoying about this now, is I have to hit it in the mouth. Well, this was just such a massive waste of time. Okay, that's the mouth, right? There. Okay, question mark, good. Alright. Oh shit! Oh! Oh nice! No, okay, chat! <laughs> I hate to do this to you. <laughs> I hit the mouth and caught it. I hit the mouth and caught it. I hate- I really hate to do this to you, but I can get the horn now. And that- that's it. I don't have to farm this dragon again. At least I don't think so. I can't believe I caught that meter. Alright. That was, uh, that was lucky. Yeah, I just need the horn, and then that's... Because I'm trying to upgrade the, uh... What do you call it? Um, Lost Words. Fizz Deity Set. Fizz Deity Set. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, do you want visual stimulus? There you go. There's some visual stimulus. Me dancing as I'm about to get the horn. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I need to kill more Hinox. I thankfully did get a few guts already because I've been Killing them as I go. Let me go have a look along this and see if there's any uh, shards that I missed. But honestly, what's worse? Watching me sit on a dragon or watching me... I'm trying to get a stupid DK coin for an hour. I'm not sure how shards respawn. Oh damn, there's a shrine down there that I haven't gotten. I need to mark that. Hang on. Where is where is it specifically? Camera's a bit awkward.
Oh, it's Kya? Really? The goddess. Sh yeah, okay. I know what this is. That's at the uh, the statues, which was a quest. I just, I guess, I've never looked into it. I didn't, I didn't look into that stable either. Wait, what? There's a fairy fountain. Hang on, what? There's a fairy fountain there. Why is there a fairy fountain there? Is that a- am I- am I wrong? Is that a fairy fountain? You discovered you can tag things while gliding? What? Really? Oh, no kidding. Where'd it go? I lost track of it. It's at the- it's at the statues. Oh, no, wait, there it is. Okay. That's that's a neat one. Did not know that. Unfortunately, the angle is still awkward. I wonder if it's just another horse one. It's probably another horse one. Just giving you two places to visit the horse. Oh, oh shit. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Well, that would have been a waste of everyone's time. Good enough. <laughs> I mean, if you want to descend quicker, you do this. There was a Korok pretty much exactly here. Well, you had to jump from high ground and reach low ground very quickly, and that's, uh, yeah. That's what you have to do to make it in time. You have to glide, descend, glide, descend, glide, descend. I'm always self-conscious about what people are willing to put up with when it comes to pointless, well not pointless, but just grinding in general, or if I'm doing something that's a repetitive task. You know, the funny thing is, I think, I think I'm gonna, I, I will have sat on this thing for a full lap. Like, we're almost at, like, Hylia again. Should have left the Gleok fight for last and then on the high note. Um I do want to look into that uh what we just saw though. It's fine. Don't 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 worry. It's just a little bit of uh exhaustion. <laughs> Move the analog stick. Alright, all right, you know, I just don't wanna ugh. I'll stop moving. I'll stop moving. I'll stop moving. Me moving. Is that the light? No. What is that? That's just a mountain. Are my eyes just... Okay, it's just the shape of that look like a body. It's, just... it's fine. Because I know at some point these dragons uh, overlap. Which 
particularly around Lake Hylia. The light dragon is around the Lake Hylia at a certain time. That's neat. Alright, so we need a spectacle rock. This is safe now, right? Like, I don't have to... No, it's still cold, apparently. I need to upgrade this armor. It's still on 8. I just haven't really looked into what's required. Oh, I did the full lap. This is roughly... Roughly where... Ah. Uh, okay, see? Well, another thing spotted out. Someone that needs to go see their friend. I saw the little light. They've uh, adjusted cold resist in this game quite a bit. In Breath of the Wild, for something like this, I would have needed two parts. But I think because the sky elevation is now the highest, I would imagine they didn't want to make it so you needed a full set to be in the highest point in the sky, so they just scaled it back a bit. That would... That would be what... Mm, yeah, my train of thought is as to why it's different this time around. Oh, that Korok is, like, right on a cliff. Where where would he be going? He's facing that direction, so the camp would probably be behind, like, this way. I wonder if Nintendo, or at least people that worked on this game, keep track of just the heinous stuff people have done to the Koroks. I, I, once I'm done playing this game, I will start consuming some of the Breath of the Wild content and look at just the stuff people have done. I mean, just through osmosis, I've, I've seen a few. I'm trying not to get spoiled too much, but I have seen a few. Like, the Crucifixion one is just the one that does the most rounds, I think. There's one I want to do, but it, it involves a lot of effort and a new save file. But I would like to get at least eight Koroks together and make a Korok bowl. And then just catapult, like, use a trebuchet to just fling the Korok ball. It would require just an insane amount of setup. <laughs> it would mean ignoring those kind of Koroks, and then at the end going, okay. I have all these parts. I'm going to make the trebuchet. I'm going to favorite it. Oh, it's shiny now. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Too busy. Wait, what am I doing? Horn. It's okay. You may unclench. I did the right thing.
Why does this streamer sit on dragon for 20 minutes? Such boring. Show me headshots. I may as well do this while I'm here. This, uh... Huh. Is it under me? No. What is this? the light route. Streamer, why are you flying the wall? <laughs> right, I'm leaving. Oh my god. This fucking guy doesn't know how to fly plane. I still have no idea how to get fairies. Oh. There's nothing to it. I, I, I mean it in the truest sense. There's just certain spots where uh, they exist. There's just a pond. And they're just roaming. You just catch them. It's not like previous Zelda games where you need a bottle. You just grab them like a bug. Well, it's kind of an even split between the sky and the ground. There's a few places. There's some in the caves as well. It's, you'll come across them. Oh, the upgrades. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's a quest line. I mean, this, the thing that can get you in trouble with your landlord for making loud sex sounds. Uh. Mm. I don't have money. Okay, but I have enough to upgrade that at last. And I can do that at last. Ah. So that's good. Um, You're gonna... No, you know what? I'm not going to do the boring thing yet. I won't do the boring thing yet. We just sat on a dragon for, for like almost 20 minutes. I am broke, yes. And I can remedy it just by going to the the Gourmet Goron. But I'm not going to do it because that's just subjecting you to more just... I'll be surprised if anyone makes it to the end of this video later on YouTube. Well, now it's the opposite.
I could sell gems. I yeah, I'm hanging on to the diamonds because uh the Gerudo lady that travels and purchases stuff well purchases gems off you for a higher price is currently wanting me to sell ten diamonds to her. So if I do get ten diamonds, I'm gonna get a lot more money from her. So that's why I'm not selling diamonds. The other gems I'm just I'd like to hang on to about ten. I'm not imagining it. I saw something here. Where is it? Dude, it looked like a fairy fountain. That's not a croc either. It was nighttime as what? Well. Okay, hold on. What if this is just, um, what's his face? I pinged it correctly. It's here. It oh, it's just okay. Right, so I'm not going crazy. This is what I saw. Yeah, I mean, he's got no more rewards left. I just gotta return when I find all the gems. I'm not crazy, you're crazy! Where? Where? Oh, it's already... How's it already gone? the mask off. Yeah, maybe it is law. Alright, just, just making sure. Okay, from here. There's just a stone somewhere along here. The blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world 
is threatened once again. Yeah. I kind of get the feeling that's like the fake Zelda doing that because she doesn't say any words of encouragement towards Link or even like a be careful. It's almost like a summoning. Oh, there it is. I see it. That's what I was looking for. I know I can skip it. Yeah, I'm aware. Usually I use that time to drink my water a little bit. It's like a reliable 30 second break. <laughs> it's kind of funny to hear it. Yeah, well, as long as it doesn't break like it did in Breath of the Wild. You'd be surprised how old it gets when you're hearing that every 15 seconds. I'm impressed that I've only seen one glitch through this playthrough so far. Hidden metal, all right. I wonder if it means literally or just figuratively. I mean, that's fine because now I can just... Oh. No, I can't. I thought I was being smart. I know I know what I need I know what I need to do. Oh shit. Damn it, hang on. I thought I was being clever. I think it's just the pendulum effect and just... Okay, provided I can grab the damn thing. There we go. I don't know why I just didn't do that to begin with. Ugh. It's because I saw this and I was like, alright, it lit up good enough. That's probably all I need to do. Chest as a material. Is this what? It's, it's metallic. 
<laughs> what? What on earth was that? That was some jank physics right there. Why is that not working? I thought that would have worked because it's, it's a metallic weapon. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. That one works. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. What? Weird. But something that definitely used to work in Breath of the Wild. I guess they removed the cheese. Oh, I see. Not so much hidden metal, it's stolen metal. Man, I've been playing for 2 hours and 40 minutes and I've done one shrine today. <laughs> Yep. All right. I would imagine I'm close to the end of the number of shrines because there's just... There's not that much remaining from a heart perspective. I would imagine it would let you get full hearts and one stamina wheel at least. Okay, this is a stable that I haven't done. It's the president. It's on the hill, isn't it? That'll do. Dad, the president's dead, dead. I can't yell today. I wish these would show up on the map so you knew where. <laughs> See that rush room? I, I could I could climb. Such utility. Oh, he is here. 
Oh, 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 hello there, partner. What's brought you all the way out here? I'd heard that visitors stopped coming to the stable, so this place had to shut down, but here you are. That severe chill around here has nothing to sneeze at, but look at you, kid, strutting around like it's just another day. I've come to the stable because my sources were chirping about a problem with the well here. Actually, they say Princess Zelda caused this problem. She shut down this well and declared it off-limits. But without its water, the stable couldn't keep travelers, horses, or the workers refreshed. The well also provided a steady supply of mushrooms to folks here. So why did the princess want everyone to stay away from it? That's the big question. What we're short on is answers. The owner, who's stuck here, is just as puzzled as anyone else. And I can't weasel down the well to see what she was concerned about. My wings are too wide. Ugh, I wish there was some way to get more details, but it seems like we're at the deadest of ends to me. I don't know, man. I think you could fit. I think you can fit. Zalfos. Yeah, I'm not so much in the mood to fight you guys. Did I just steal his shield? That was a silver one, that's why I didn't die easily. I mean, it comes in handy if you want to do stealth stuff. I haven't really used that shroom that much for, for snake strikes. It's pretty good. I guess we have to kill everything, huh? I heard monsters down there. Are you okay? But I wanted the chest and the thing. Oh! Sir, so, what'd you find in the well? Mm. So there were a lot of monsters behind the pile of rocks. I can't help thinking the princess knew about that monster then. She must have had a barricade put up to seal away those creatures and protect everyone here. Now why the princess didn't say so, that's a mystery. But maybe she wanted to keep the panic from spreading. Or maybe it was only a very temporary measure, but then she disappeared. Yep, a little speculation on my part, but that's got to be the story here. What do you say? Holds up, right? Our job is to follow the facts, and that's where they take us. We've worked together to chase eight of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. 
Getting to the bottom of a mystery will no doubt improve your reputation. Tracy will be happy to hear about your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh. Oops, I almost forgot, partner. Tracy has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you this as a bonus. Here you go. Damn it. Still not the second thing. We needed to make more educated guesses on with our story more than we'd normally do, but I'll stand by this piece. We know our princess after all. She had to have everyone's safety in mind. I'll get to writing all of this up on paper. You take care of yourself. So long. I thought at eight I would have gotten another piece of the armor. What if I just go visit her? Like, is she going to tell me? Or it's just... No. Nope. She might tell me how many are remaining. Beesh. Beesh. She does say how much is left. Alright, I'll go there. Just for my own sanity. Eh, I mean, I guess. I got some money at least, that's nice. I'll probably purposely look for some stables. It would be great if we found a way of detecting them nearby. God damn it. And I, I think I know exactly how that's done. I know the wells I know how to I know how to detect them, but if looking for stories, I think I know how to detect them as well. Assuming it works in the same way. I don't it, I didn't consider that, but now I'll do it. Should be at Dueling Peaks in uh, Southern Hyrule. Uh, uh, okay, um, one sec. I already know how to detect wells. Wells are easy. This is Dueling Peaks, right? Yeah. How did I- I guess he must have moved there because I, I definitely went to that stable and he wasn't there. But let's see if this method is the same. So for wells, it's just, um, hold on, that, that, and then, I wonder if it's a well that I've done or haven't done. Let's see. Okay, so it's not going off for this one, so that's good. Then, yeah, you can do it for the wells. So this will give you a well that's not detected, so that's nice. I was curious. Then for stories... It said it was at Dueling Peaks, why is he not here? Oh, that 
that's why I didn't see him. That makes sense now. Yeah, I'll take the arrows, thank you. Not enough. That's why I didn't see him, because he was on the roof. So let's see if this works. Nah, he's not a... Yeah, he's not a compendium target. Oh, phew. It's just you, partner. I should have known you'd turn you'd turn this midday hour to your advantage and sneak up on me. <laughs> My feathers are really ruffled, aren't they? Oh, no. You spooking me isn't what I'm talking about, although I did, that did the number on me, too. I mean, Princess Zelda was Princess Zelda. She was kidnapped. Have you heard of the Yiga partner. They're a gang of lowlives who worship an evil entity and plot against Princess Zelda. Now they claim they've kidnapped her. What's more, they're not even worried about the fact about being found. In fact, they sent a message to the newspaper. We have taken Princess Zelda to the carved out heart of the towering twins. Understandably, Miss Tracy work is all worked up over the news. I came here because the word twins made me think of Dueling Peak Stable, but I haven't found any other clues so far. There must be something. Partner, we cannot allow the chirps and warbles of evil to go unanswered. Right, these kids have a better clue. There was this part like, and that part was. Darton wasn't part of the footprint, more like Stomp Stomp. What does that even mean? Footprints? Ah, uh, Mr. Travel, you're interested in these footprints. We found some strange footprints south of here in Farron. They were big. No animal I know leaves tracks like that. They were footprints like no one's ever seen before. We wanted to tell our dad right away, but they disappeared in the rain. He said we probably just dreamed them up, but we did see them. We really did. Okay, that's more clues to the beast. Um. Carved out heart of the towering twins, which is probably just a carved out heart of the towering twins. Thought it might be like a landmark you can see. I don't think what that means. It's gonna rain, isn't it? <laughs> Carved out hearts of the towering twins. I 
I mean, I, I thought maybe it would be this river. That's a Korok over there. Because, like, not a literal heart. I was thinking maybe it's a metaphorical heart, which means center. So, like, the way this center of the towering twins is carved out is with a river. That was my train of thought. Oh, that's an easy one, sort of. They re oh, this is this is just gonna be annoying. Unless I actually fight back. Okay. Oh, they fix this. Good enough. <laughs> All right, can we get back to this? is going to get in the way. It's the return of an old friend. Okay, not long enough yet. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'm just thinking out loud right now. As long as it lets me set Okay, uh this is not good. Okay, hang on. You know what it's kind of good because this is gonna transport it perfectly. Just not in the Ooh. Okay, it's going against the current, but I should be able to... Okay, as long as I can hop on. It's weird that it pivots like that, but okay. Oh, I see, because it's banked up on the shore. That's... that worked. also mean a cave it's like i'm not trying to think too literally like looking for a something that looks like a heart just metaphorical heart which could mean center it could mean 
I mean, it still means center, but just a different kind of center. If I was to guess, if it wasn't the river, it'd probably be a cave. There's some cave here. Love, love this game. Okay. No, um, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> well, sometimes it, that's the thing. It's sometimes it will be literally just a heart. Sometimes it will literally just be a heart. And in that case, my train of thought is overcomplication. But in the case where it's something not literal and not obvious, then... Yeah, my way of thinking comes in handy. Making sure I was heading to Dueling Peaks. I don't want to waste stamina food as well because it's kind of rare, so I would not eat something just for that little thing. Stamina food is not as easy to come by as it used to be. down there. I'm... Okay, well, I just need to look this way. You cut grass and stealth attack, collect grasshoppers and brew them into potions. Okay, let me rephrase that. It's hard to come by if you're not sitting there and farming stuff. <laughs> I mean, anything is plentiful if you farm it. But it's not the most exciting thing to watch. I'm talking about just traveling along the world and just collecting ingredients and not stopping for like, I don't know, an hour to farm stamina food it's not as common as it used to be in breath of the wild especially stamella mushrooms the yellow ones they are rare as all because that recipe is op it's just one mushroom and yeah it restores your stamina I love how I need to climb around these mountains and now it's raining again. I just 
uh, I love that Nintendo insisted and stuck to their guns on a system that, like, everyone complained about. And I see what the players really want, chat, is they want a wetsuit to deal with it. But the wetsuit you unlock bit by bit, so it provides a sense of wonder and fantasy. The fuck? You came to save me, right? You recognize who I am, Zelda. It's a Yigo member. I need to come save you. Open up and do something with this cage. <laughs> the valiant golden haired knight known as Link could move such a steady cage like that. I knew we'd lure in some heroic wannabes if we use Zelda as bait, but you, we even managed to snare you. Hey, don't worry, once we find a real Zelda, we'll send her to join you, promise. <laughs> Alright, everybody, this is definitely the golden hair boy, get him. Get who? Who, who, who are you trying to get? I'm sorry, I can't hear over the sound of your screams. <laughs> We'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Looks like Team Rocket is blasting off again. Hey, partner, what are you up to down there? Ah. I've been circling the area for leads. I was sure that the word twins in that vicious let in that vicious letter was referring to dueling peaks. Mm. Now I'm not sure. I found nothing at all anywhere around here. What about you? Have you figured out anything on your end? What? You're saying the Yiga sent us that letter all to lure you into a trap? Uh, why would the Yiga give us give a hoot about you, partner? Kind of tooting your own horn there a little bit. <laughs> anyway, getting back on track here. It's a huge relief knowing that Princess Zelda actually hasn't been kidnapped. We're work we've worked together to chase nine of the stories relating to Princess yeah. Zelda. There's never time for a break, you know? I'd better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. One thing, we got a bonus from Tracy. Yes, thank you. Any good report addresses for the story they're reporting on, you know? This gear lets you cling to walls without slipping, even on rainy days. It'd be cool to wear this while conducting an interview in the rain, don't you think? I'll head off and start pecking away at an article about the Yiga clan scheme. People need to know the truth. So along. Thank you. Okay. We now have tier two, which I think is probably as as good as I'm gonna get it. Um, just because I'm probably gonna be wearing the Korok mask most of the time. So if I uh, upgrade this to full, this will be my default armor pretty much, as the Hylian gear does not give any benefits in a set bonus, so... Yeah. Okay, um, boring time. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. It's time to be boring. <laughs> Maybe I'll luck out and it won't take long. Okay, save. I hate that he does that. The fake out. What do we have here?
here is that an ordinary piece of paper oh my god and yes could it be it's a piece of lint i love lint it's a rock The odds of this must be very low. I'm going to do a second one back to back. What's <laughs> that noise he makes? Like, what an asshole. Who does that? I mean, I... Yeah, I don't know. It's just random is random, I guess. The thing is, it does give you a lot of money, so I... I know why it's rare. For 20 flint, that's... It's pretty good. I'm just not sure if the odds increase if you give them more at one go. Or if it's just equal regardless. I haven't really seen any talk about this one. Not that I've looked. But I mean, if you have the patience, this is definitely one of the best ways to make money. You would assume 100 would guarantee it, probably. Or at least near guarantee it. The first time I gave him 50 and I didn't get it, so just know that. You know what? Um... Let me see if I can find it. Dude, what the fuck? Why is it not typing? Okay, apparently 50 is the most optimal for success. From what I'm reading. You can get it with 20. It's just you have to be really lucky. Wait, oh no, hang on. It says cash in on ripened flint is a one-time quest, so you can't farm rupees indefinitely. But then you have YouTube videos that say you can farm rupees. <laughs> Hold on, let me find a definitive answer. There seems to be contention as to whether you can do this a second time. People are talking about that you can do it a second time. Mixed. Very, very mixed, uh... Mixed answers. I 
hate him. I hate him so much. I don't want to bore anyone. <laughs> I'll do it a couple more times. How does rap and flint work? Let's see. I hate, sometimes I hate these threads because it could be someone just lying that they did it multiple times. Consensus is random is random for the first time. This just I don't think there's a consensus on whether or not this is farmable. But I think people are saying that the second time they did it, it took them longer. So someone was saying like by putting 50 in and doing it 10 times, they got it to hit once. So I'll do it a couple more times with 50. What do we have here? An arsehole. Oh, sorry, it's normal flint. My bad. give up. Honestly, the better thing for me to do is just go murder a bunch of Talus. You know? In fact, I know one spot. I know one spot in particular. This spot here. It's a Talus. Just right there. Know this already. It's one of the earliest ones I did. I'll break one of these on it. Dun 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 dun! Alright, oh, it's this. I 
I don't know why it's the Gliok thing. Got quite a few of these, so let's just... Smarter than Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Looking for ripened Twitch comments. Is that just a more mature Twitch comment? This one where they didn't just post it right away and they thought about it for a minute. You know, the takeaway is I do get <laughs> I just need a little bit of money to upgrade that. I don't need a lot. I'm trying to not sell diamonds until I have 10. Then we can cash in. Where's Beedle? Beedle. There's Beedle. Imagine Link going through your, your body with that power must must not feel great. Wow! I mean, that, that's good, right? Alright, that'll do. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to think about that monster truck I built with the horse carriage. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, not my finest work. Are the Luminous Stone any reason to be used? Like, what's their purpose? I mean, in Breath of the Wild, they just would, uh... There was a certain shrine it was used in, there was a certain armor set that you needed them to purchase in the first place and then upgrade. It's like a weak light source, I guess. I'm not sure if they do anything special if attached to an arrow in this. I haven't tried. Ah. Uh.
Ah, uh, I need a few more frogs. I may have to track them down, because that's probably worth it. <laughs> okay, well, at the very least, do this one. Uh. Claw, um, dirty boots. <laughs> I don't know how they could could have not seen that. Just the sound effects of this fairy were a, a little bit sexual. Like if you just play the sound effects out of context. What do you mean, not sexual? Oh, come on. Lionel Guts. Okay. This is fine. I can get Lionel Guts. I need four of them. But otherwise, this is this is looking good. Um. Oh, these are finally ready for another upgrade. Good. Mm -hmm. Just close your eyes as I as I talk to her. Uh, uh, mm. I guess that's it. Uh, Just no, this one in particular. Uh, that one. Ah. Uh, uh, Do you not see the problem? <laughs> if I was to put this on full blast, I'm sure I would get complaints too. Ah. Uh. God, what am I doing? Uh, I'm, this is the end, chat. Uh, yeah, I, I need to go to bed, quite clearly. So, this is where I'm going to wrap things up for tonight. Uh, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, yeah, I, I'm tired, as you can quite clearly see. It's late as well, so. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope you did enjoy the stream. I'll return tomorrow. We'll do more this and we'll see how I feel after work. I'll try to do more Donkey Kong, but if not, uh, I'll I'll plan something else. Uh, in the meantime, oh yeah, YouTube, thanks for clicking. Thanks for watching. Consider algorithm button pressing. You know? But thanks to those that have been doing it. All jokes aside. Uh, yeah, if you want to catch up on streams you may have missed or other playthroughs, just head to YouTube. Search for the channel over there. Or you can find links to all that stuff and more at my website, shambles.gg. So, less effort. But, hope you do check it out. Otherwise, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. I saw a shooting star in the background that I'm just going to ignore. And I'm going to say, goodnight, chat. Bye. <laughs>